you're watching the 11 stations of the University of North Carolina Center for Public Television. This is UNC TV, learning for a lifetime. Let's get the paperwork and hit the road. This is Unit 7. We've got another accidental poisoning. We've got a five-year-old who drank a whole bottle of grape-flavored cough syrup. He didn't know it was medicine. He's stable and our ETA is three minutes. Over and out. Sable, are you sure today's safety stats are correct? No, what I endure. Squeaky's cheese heaving habits, and now you, Gabriella, second-guessing my always flawless computer skills. No, I'm sure it's not you, Sable. But check out Vector 11 under emergency room admissions in Paris, France. Oh my, not a full-on danger alert, but there does appear to be an alarming increase in children mistaking medicine for candy. They're all getting to the hospitals fast enough, but maybe we should check it out anyway. Danger Rangers to the control room. Danger Rangers to the control room, please. Wonder what's up? Hey, guys, did you hear that? GB wants us all in. Ah, he's squeaky! Oh, oh, oh! Choco Chunky candy bars are my favorite! I mean, they really can't taste, but if I could, they'd be good. So can I have a bite, huh? Just a little one, because I'm watching my weight these days, squeaky. Oh, leave him alone, Forbot. If he eats it all himself, he may get a toothache. Since he can be such a pain, let him get the pain. Hey, 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 excuse me. I happen to allow myself one Choco Chunky candy bar per week. Which, I might add, is not highly likely to increase the risk of cavities in these pearly whites. Phew! <laughs> what a reek! Yeah. Yeah. Danger alert! Ooh. Danger alert! Oh, whew. is it Squeaky's candy bar, Sable? No, Ranger Sully, that is perfectly edible. Although, who'd want to eat it? It stinks like one of Squeaky's worst cheese bombs. If not stinky candy, then what's the danger alert, Savo? Kids going through purses? That is bad. Yeah, and there's something worse going on. That little boy's got his hands on prescription medicine. And I'd bet this candy bar that's certainly not his purse, so it's not his medicine. <laughs> yeah, no takers on the funky chunky, Squeaky. But you're right about that medicine. Good work spotting that danger, GB. Why don't you ride along with us this time? Bert, you and Sable hold down headquarters. Rangers, let's roll! Check it out! I found some candy in my mom's purse! Double danger alert! We are running out of time! Hyperdrive, Sable! <gasps> cool! Can we have some? How are we doing, Kitty? We're not gonna make it, Sully. No time to land! Are you sure this is candy? Well, look at it! What else could it be? GB, we got a need for your speed.
Good job, GB. The Danger Rangers! Kids, this isn't candy. This is medicine. And if you'd eaten them, they could have made you very, very sick. It's not candy? Medicine is as far away from candy as you can get. But if it's medicine, then it should be good for us, right? All right, all right, wait a second here. If you're sick, and if a doctor or a nurse or a parent gives you the medicine, then, and only then, it can make you feel better. But the wrong medicine, or medicine that's not for you... Because you found it in your mother's purse, which, by the way, you ought to stay out of... ...can make you sick. Really sick. Like, have to go to the hospital sick. You brush your teeth and then you look to the side. The cabinet full of medicine is opened up wide. And there are lots of little bottles inside. And they're loaded with pills. They look a lot like candy and they're colorful too. They're orange, red, and yellow, green, and purple, and blue. And if the situation ever happens to you, don't, don't touch, touch them pills. A pill is medicine, see? And you can take it from me. It isn't candy and it isn't a treat. It could make you a mess. So be certain, don't guess. If you don't know what it is, it's a thing you don't eat. If you ever come across a little pill on the floor, or on the dresser, or the counter, or the back of a drawer, or maybe on the of a pocket of purse. Don't put it in your mouth, because it could hurt you or worse, unless you get it from your mom or dad or doctor or nurse. Don't touch them pills. There's other medicine, too. The kind you drink or you chew. It comes in cherry, berry, orange, and grape. It's in the medicine cabinet. But don't you go grabbing it, because if it's in there... You better beware. There are different kinds of medicine can make you feel bad. So never take it on your own. You ask your mom or your dad. Because all the medicine your parents have got might look good to eat, but they are definitely not. And so, my friend, remember what you've been taught. Don't touch them pills. Oh, no. Even if the bottle all spills, uh-huh. Keeping safe is one of your skills. Oh, yeah. Stay out of that medicine cabinet. But Ranger Sully, that was the only candy I could find that didn't smell bad. I mean, what I thought was candy. Whoa, hey, hold the phone. Did you say something about smelly candy? Yeah, real smelly candy. Yeah. 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 Whew. How many of these things are there? Danger alert! Danger alert! This time it's bad candy, right, Savo? Wrong again, Ranger Rodent. But it's candy and treats everywhere smelling like swamp rot. You must get to the bottom of all this. There's nothing actually dangerous about any of this stuff. Whew, it smells like every used sweat sack on the planet was stuffed with weak old sauerkraut. But all tests indicate it wouldn't actually hurt you to eat it if you could stab the smell. I don't get it. Somebody went through a lot of trouble to do this. But they obviously didn't want anyone to get hurt. Only now, with candy off limits, so many more kids than usual are going for pills they think are candy. And it's not just pills, Sully. Too many kids get a hold of those sweet, syrupy medicines, too. Update alert! Update alert! Someone has now demanded $50 million, or they will continue to odorize at an even more rapid rate. <sighs> I just wish we could figure out how they're getting into the candy factories. We've got over every factory, top to bottom, that makes any kind of sweets. I've been in touch with all the factory food inspectors and their security teams. We've double-checked and triple-checked everything. 
Whatever this is, it is definitely not happening at the factory level. Then something's happening on the way to the stores. And I know how to find out. I've just invented exploding chocolate. Don't forget your earplugs. Here at the epicenter, my new exploder bar is made from world-famous Wonka chocolate with, dare I say, a bang. Clear! It's a bit unpredictable, but don't let that stop you. Exploder from the wild world of Wonka. Hi, my name is Gerbert. Listen very closely to this poem I wrote with Andy. Medicine is for when you're sick. Medicine isn't candy. I know they look so tasty, so colorful and bright. They look a lot like candy, but that just isn't right. So before you eat a little pill, here's what you need to do. Ask mom or dad if it's okay, and they'll take care of you. All right, Rangers, here's the plan. GB, Squeaky, and I will take the candy factories here, here, and here. Kitty Burble, you've got the soda bottling plant on the south side. Now each team will hide out in one of the delivery trucks scheduled to leave the plant tonight. Bert, you're on tracking and monitoring. What about me? Uh, yeah, you fall by. Well, I've given this a lot of thought, and uh, I'm putting you in charge of, um, gathering up all that bad candy and getting rid of it. How's that? I'm in charge? Did you hear that, guys? I'm in charge! I'm in charge! I'm in charge! I'm in charge! You like me! You really like me! <laughs> I've never seen anyone so happy about being told to clean up. I can't thank you enough for all your help, Danger Rangers. Well, you can thank us after we catch whoever's ruining your candy. Ah, <sighs> Maybe with some samples? Squeaky! What? Come on, you don't smell that? We're in a candy factory with candy that smells good for a change. Hello? He's got a point. Come on, you two. Let's get in the truck. Yeah, good luck, and thanks again. Kitty, Burble. We're in position at the bottling plant, Sully. Check it out. They gave us samples. Did you hear that? You mean the engine starting? No, before that. You mean the key's turning? No, after that. I didn't hear anything after that. Exactly. That driver didn't fasten his seatbelt. Ooh, you are good. And I'm gonna bet he's not the real driver. You mean we're being candy jacked? Well, that would certainly explain how they get to the candy and make it smelly before it gets to the store. What now? We sit tight. And we let them lead us right to where they're stinking of the candy. Okay, now sneak up and get a Sabo snapshot of this guy. Good idea. Then Sabo can forward it on to the police and find out who this guy is. Those guys aren't gonna believe this. We are being hijacked by a ninja. This gets weirder by the second. Who is that creeping inside my hell duck? <laughs> You okay, Squeaky? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Thanks to this case of nuts here, that nut case up there didn't kill me. Hey! Huh? What? Don't worry. I nailed him with a Danger Ranger tracking tagger. Squeaky, get into the cab through that vent, then get out and open this door. Kitty, come in. This is Sully. We figured out the crooks are some kind of weird ninja guys. Yeah, we kind of noticed. Kitty? Did you get that? Verbal. Come in, Verbal. That's weird. They're not answering. All set, guys. Good work, Squeaky. What is it, Bert? Slavo has lost all contact with Kitty and Burble. Roger that, Bert. I think they've been hijacked along with their cargo. I attached a tracking tagger to our truck driver. He may lead us to Kitty and Burble. Activate the device and we'll follow him. Can do. 
Come on, guys. The ninja guy went that way. <gasps> oh, Kitty. How nice to see you again. Uh, Kitty, you know these guys? One of them, anyway. Verbal, say hello to Henri Ennui. Uh, hi? Henri, this is Verbal. He's gonna help me shut you down. Bonjour, Monsieur Burble. The pleasure is all mine. Henri and I know each other from my days with Global Pole. He's a brilliant scientist. Oh, <laughs> you honor me. <laughs> Who was selling counterfeit perfumes. Only they weren't very good counterfeits. In fact, they stank. Literally. Oh, you wound my pride. But in spite of the setbacks, I have found a use for my genius. Voila! I call it Le Rancinator. It makes things smell, uh, how you say, très funky? It rearranges the molecules ever so slightly so that when they are exposed to air... Phew. You see? Disgusting, no? And that candy bar's no prize either. You make this small joke on me, eh? Very small. Oh, but this is nothing. Tonight you will witness my greatest triumph. Voila! The really big rancinator. It, uh, um, I am working out some, uh, how you say, kinks. But no matter, with this I shall rancinate everything for hundreds of miles around. Not just the snacks, but now I will sting the fruits, vegetables, meats, cheeses. <laughs> you want lunch, dinner? Forget about it! Unless you pay me millions. <laughs> Excellent idea. That machine is hermetically sealed and designed to keep emanations from, well, emanating. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow! We have to be careful. Come on, Squeaky. Keep up. Keep up, he says. Short legs, I say. I can't believe you're doing all this just for money, Henri. Oh, what can I say? I have a lot of expenses. You know we're going to have to stop you, right? 
I believe under the circumstances that will be a trifle difficult for you. Maybe, but not for us. Oh, Sacre Green, the Danger Rangers. But how? Tracking devices. <laughs> Très resourceful, my friend. You are indeed worthy adversaries. But I have some buddies as well. Get them! You get Kitty and Verbal. We'll hold off these guys. A croissant? You're attacking us with ordinary French bread? We have some exploding croissants on order. We've been using these for practice. We should still be careful, GB. Someone could slip on one of these. They're kind of greasy. Croissants away! <laughs> Hey, guys, how's it going? Oh, curses! I never should have added the cappuccino maker. Not really a good time to collect souvenirs, big guy. Not a souvenir. Oh, come on already! You look tired. Maybe you want to sit down and rest for a minute. That'll teach you to sit down on the job. None of your resourcefulness. Hello? No. Still waiting. Everybody, looks like we saved the day. Oh, can you save my nostrils? Oh, this stuff smells très terribly. Merci. Hey, you may stink up the joint, Henri, but you certainly got good taste in cheese. Ooh, just how I like it. The stinkier the better. <laughs> <laughs> The streets aren't the only place kids find drugs. Sometimes they find them at home. You can help stop prescription drug abuse by safeguarding medications in your home, encouraging friends and family members to do the same, and asking your pharmacist how to dispose of medications you no longer need. To learn how you can help stop prescription drug abuse in your home and in your community, visit www.safeguardmymeds.org. 
got him toed. A soldier ant's legs are made in fold. A soldier ant's legs are made in fold. Six days sure is better than five. Six days sure is better than five. Hold! Thank you, boys. At ease. <sighs> Here. See how the thick Cadbury's milk chocolate melts with that dreamy caramel. I don't know. You just have to take it easy with Cadbury's caramel. Everybody ready? Ready. One, three. One, two, three. Ah. <sighs> Everything is back to the way it was. Um, not exactly, Ranger Squeaky. What do you mean? Before, we didn't know how to be careful about medicines. Hey, that's right. And what do we know now? That no one should ever say medicine is candy. Check. Hey, good one. And that's one your parents and caregivers need to know, too. Stay away from locked cabinets and drawers, because they're locked so they keep us safe from what's inside them. Check! You got it. And medicine should be kept safely locked away from little kids. Double check! There should always be a light on when you get medicine, so you know you're getting the right medicine at the right amount. Bingo! And what else do we know about taking medicine? You should only take it when it's given by a doctor, nurse, parent, or adult caregiver. Check! The bottles should have a child-proof cap. Check again! And parents should always check the label to make sure the medicine's not too old. And if you have to throw it away, throw it down the drain, not in the trash where a kid could get at it. Now, who can tell me what this is? It looks like a vitamin. Vitamins are good for us, right? Sure they are, Jack. But you still can't eat them like candy. No way! And you gotta use common sense. Because sometimes vitamins can look like candy, too. See? Like these candies look like these vitamins. See what I mean, guys? <laughs> Whoops! Oh, my bad. I'll just eat the candy so there's no way anybody could get the two confused. Don't worry. Fubot! Ah. Mm. Mm. You ate all the vitamins, not the candy. I ate the... What? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, boy. If he keeps that up, he'll be in the scrap heap by lunch. You okay, you big lug nut? Yes, yeah, Squeaky, thanks. Good thing I'm made of metal. Eating all those pills can't hurt me. No way. Too many of these guys can make you real sick. Yeah, sick enough to go to the hospital. That's not hard to remember. Ah, it's a piece of cake. Just gotta use a little common sense. It all comes down to using common sense. When danger strikes, your brain's your best defense. Is it wise to play with fire? Or touch an electric wire? It all comes down to using common sense. When you ride your bike full speed ahead, Scream downhill berserk. Did you check your brakes will work? Safety's nothing more than common sense. When you see that kitchen stove is hot, 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 hot. And right on top, a great big boiling pot. Hot, hot. Should you stand underneath that scalding pot? Or grab the handle, better not. You got to choose to use your common sense. You're at the swimming pool, you chase a ball. You run too fast, you slip and fall. Down you go, you smack your head. Remember now what we say. It all comes down to using common sense. It all comes down to something they call intelligence. Don't touch or play with any gun. A stranger grabs you, turn and run. Someone's heard, call 911. Gotta, Gotta use, use common, common sense. sense. When there's a fire and you can't see the door. Get down underneath the smoke and crawl across the floor. Before you open any doors up wide, you better make sure you feel the side. And if it's hot, then open it. Not use common sense. There are smoke detectors. Black reflectors. Machine guards, knee pads, eye protectors. Catchers, mask, and safety net. Like the seatbelts you can bet. It all comes down to using common sense. It all comes down to using common sense. Yes, it all comes down to using. Don't be out there snoozing. It all comes down to using common sense. Stay alert. You 
won't get hurt. So, did everything fall apart? We're missing one. Not a problem. These guys got it down. I'll bet one of them knows what it is. I know. If you find an open bottle of medicine, go find a grown-up and tell them about it right away. Good answer, Fallbot. <laughs> hey, looks like we got our winner. Three of them, in fact. <laughs> Good job, guys. The decibels are the coolest new group around. Oh, I think the faces on Mount Rushmore just got nosebleeds from the base. Sully, if they play any louder than they played in that padded studio, that music could do some damage. The decibels have to be louder than the competition, or we'll just vanish away. Buck Huckster's not the kind of guy who'd just admit he put out CDs that couldn't be turned down. I'm gonna quit the Danger Rangers and go on tour with the Decibels. It's a dream come true! <laughs> I'm gonna be a star! 